What's going on everybody? Welcome to your ninth Android tutorial for the new Boston. What we're going to do in this tutorial is set up our buttons and basically use a method that's going to make the buttons do something when we click uh, click the button. So we're going to just set that up. We aren't actually going to define what the button does when it clicks. But uh, if you guys are brand new to programming, this again will be probably pretty confusing for the most part. But I'm going to try and break it down a little bit and then we'll review it later on down the road but I just want to show you guys how to set this up now what we've done we set up two variables called add and subtract they're both the type button so they're button variables and then we set up a reference to the XML again by the find view by ID method now also within this on create method so it'll be the second bracket up within there this is where we're gonna set up our on click listener so basically a button needs to set up an on-click listener and within the parameter or basically what that's looking for is a on-click listener and the on-click listener is going to use the method on-click. I know it's kind of confusing but I just want to kind of talk about it or tell you guys what it does or what it's looking for for the most part before we get into it. So again like I said since we imported the button class from the package of the 2.2 Android platform we can use some of the methods from the button class so how we use a method is we use our variable name such as add which again is a button we hit period or dot and then we have all these methods we can choose from and there's one called set on click listener so this is where we're gonna set our on click listener and as you can see it takes in an on click listener within its parameters so we're gonna set that up now we don't have an on click listener yet so we're gonna set up a new one and you do that by saying new and it comes from the view class so we're gonna say new view dot on click listener and again Eclipse helps you out so it's gonna be this first choice uh, view dot on click listener and it's a method so that's why there's there's a parentheses right there we're gonna click that and when you click that it's gonna set up the on click method as well so that's what's really nice about Eclipse and it sets up this on click listen or on click method so when our buttons clicked it's gonna do what's ever within these brackets right here now before we get into anything else I want you guys to uh, use a semicolon and finish off that statement right there because again just think of this as one line of code for the most part uh, this this whole line is basically one line of code and so you gotta finish it off with a semicolon now that probably looks really confusing to brand new programmers and you're like what is all this junk trust me guys the more you use buttons the more this will become familiar I just wanted you guys to get a, a layout like this so you get kinda of familiar with that basically again a button needs a, an on click listener so we have to set the on click listener so we set it by using the method set on click listener and that takes an on click listener within its parameters well, I'm saying that a lot so it's probably confusing you guys but since we didn't have one we had to set up a new one right here and we kind of defined it by uh, or there's an on click method that we can use and again this is where we're gonna actually uh, make our button do something so there we go we set up our button um, our on click listener for our button add so we're just gonna copy that and paste it down below and change the add to our other button that we set up sub so they both have an on click listener set up and then you can hit control or command shift F depending if you're on Mac or Windows and it kind of formats it for you so there you guys go I mean that's all this tutorial is I know it's probably not of much help because especially for you guys you new guys because it, it looks so complicated and <laughs> It really does for the most part if you guys are new, but you guys will get familiar with this, especially as we go on throughout the series. I'll kind of explain, give you guys some more detail. I just don't want to throw on, throw on all the information at once. But uh, there you go. That's basically all this tutorial is. Again, thanks for watching, guys, and I hope to see you guys in the next tutorial we'll actually, where we're actually going to make these buttons do something. So I'll catch you guys then. Have a good one.